making one more meal today for our weekly meal prep and we're going to make corn chato. It's going to be tasty, creamy, delicious, and only five smart points. Here's what you're going to need. A yellow pepper, finely chopped or orange. A red onion, finely chopped. Five cups of corn. A third cup plus a tablespoon of flour. Three quarters of a cup, half and half, fat free half and half. Um, a teaspoon and a half of oil, a tablespoon of basil, a teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of pepper, and six cups of chicken broth. Okay, so I have the heat on medium high. I'm going to put the oil in the Dutch oven, let that heat up for a little bit. And then I'm going to put in my peppers. Oh, doesn't that sizzle sound wonderful? And my red onion. And I'm going to let those saute for a while. So you want to saute these until they're nice and soft. I would say three or four minutes probably, maybe five. that is cooked for a while you're going to add in your potatoes you're going to add in your seasonings you're going to add in your corn you're going to stir to blend Now we're going to add the chicken broth. I'm going to stir that to make sure we get up all those bits that are cooked on the bottom of the pan of the flour. We're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to simmer it and it's until the corn and the potatoes are all soft and wonderful and blum blum blum. Okay, it's been several minutes. We're gonna take off the lid. Oh, look at that wonderful soup. Look at that. We're gonna stir it a little bit. Make sure there aren't any bits that are sticking to the bottom of the pot, because when you're dealing with a soup that's been thickened, sometimes that stuff will stick to the bottom. You don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna turn the temperature down and just keep it at a simmer. Now that this is nice and thickened, it's been about 15 minutes. Doesn't that look wonderful? Now we're gonna add the magic, and that is fat-free, half and half. And you will see yama llama richness showing right up here. Stir it in there, stir it up. Look at that cream of corn soup chowder. Just makes you happy, doesn't it? So I've decided that to go along with this corn chowder, I'm gonna do the Weight Watchers two ingredient rolls. So it calls for one cup or 120 grams of flour, and to that I'm going to add one cup or 254 grams of plain white non-fat yogurt. Okay, so you're just gonna mix these two ingredients together. Oh, and a pinch of salt. You have to remember a pinch of salt. So that's good. And this will come together kind of like crumbly and weird for a second, but as soon as we get it all incorporated, then we can form it into rolls. So we'll take it out of the bowl. See how it's a kind of a glommy mess. We want to knead it for a few minutes to have it come together. Okay, 
I have the oven preheating to 350 degrees. I'm gonna take each one of these and just roll them into a dough ball. Need to steal some because that one's too teeny. Teeny, teeny. Let's make this one a little round again. Yay. Okay, so I decided to do an egg wash on these, on these rolls. Now, whenever you do an egg wash and you beat up your egg, you notice that it doesn't break down all the way and it has that like slimy little nasty in there. You can get that taken care of. You just put a little bit of vinegar in there, stir it around a bit, and that vinegar breaks it right down. So I'm just going to put a little, little egg wash on them so it makes them pretty. And I forgot to tell you that this is made with self-rising flour, not your basic everyday old flour. So if you, you can buy self-rising flour or you can make it out of regular flour and baking soda and salt, um, or baking powder and salt. Entirely up to you. Little bit of egg wash makes them all pretty. Now the thing that's gonna take this over the top, my friend is this everything but the bagel seasoning. Look at that. I'm gonna put a bunch in my hand. I'm gonna drop it on there. There you go. Now this is going, going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. And I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Okay, here's the finished product. The serving size of this five point soup is one and a half cups. And then each of these rolls are worth three points. So um, you're looking at eight points for this yummy meal. And I'll partner with fruit and probably some other vegetables as well.